there a secret passage here? <laughs> Quiet, boy. Who goes there? Harry Potter. A brave lad. But only those bearing the Hufflepuff colors or the password may enter here. Yeah. Hufflepuff? Right. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're now on part 4, and we're now going to get the Hufflepuff portrait password. I assume it's sort of like a Hufflepuff portrait, because, you know, he seems to want a Hufflepuff's help. Which is very straightforward, just got to find one of them. Should be around here somewhere? No, he's Ravenclaw. Had any more halluc- No, she's slivering, oh god. The one time I actually want to find a Hufflepuff, and they're nowhere to be seen. This is madness, this Doesn't is. the portrait of Basil Fronzak lead to near the library? Oh, Hermione, if it's not, it's not the time. Oh, that's Hermione again. Oh, damn it. Okay, so basically, this is the same as the Ravenclaw one. You just got to find an, um... She's not. She's just different. You just got to find a Hufflepuff student. This is someone out here in the courtyard. Hello. Oh, she's Ravenclaw or Slytherin, one of the two. Slytherin for the cup. Is over there? I think I, think, I, think I see one. Is that over there? You, hello? No, damn it. I think it's great we've got ours this year. I can't wait to design my revision timetable. Okay, you're efficient. You're, you're actually mad. The maddest person I know. You're not. She's not. Is he? Jesus Christ, the one time I want to find a Hufflepuff and then nowhere to be found. I might have to go into the entrance hall then. No. Or, or, or the Great Hall, rather. Because. There's bound to be some in there, you know, at least. Go and play with a mu That's half a puff table. Any chance I could borrow your history of No, sorry. Ah, oh, dear, dear. Must be over this side then in that case. I wish I was as good Nope, okay. This is getting I'm crazy. Talking to you, Potter. My mum almost banned me from Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is this was way easier last time I did it. What? properties of Moonstone anyway. Whatever. How much powdered griffin claw do you use in the strength mission? Okay, so basically you need to find some of a Hufflepuff thing which it, last time was simple as and now they're never to be found. Wait a second, is he? Hi. Yes! I password for the portrait of Gifford Abbott. He said I had to help a Hufflepuff student. Well, thanks. Oops, sort of skipped that over. Did it? This part isn't going that well, is it? I swear this part is jinxed. Okay, um, so yeah, because Harry helped the Cedric Diggory, Hufflepuff will happily tell you the password portrait, which is brilliant. Um, but the last time I came down here, there was someone here waiting for me already in the um, the entrance hall, so it shouldn't be that difficult to find someone from Hufflepuff. Dragon's Egg. Now I had word that you helped a member of the proud house of Hufflepuff. You are due your reward, Mr. Potter. Okay. I certainly wouldn't trust him now. It's like, oh, I heard you helped member the House of Hufflepuff. That's, that, that's the actual password portrait. Okay, now we're going to help out Damara Dodderidge. Are you looking after a secret passageway? Oh, I'd love to help you, but I'm too hungry. Far, far too hungry. <gasps> Pardonnez-moi. Do you have a password I need to know then, so I can come past? Oh, I'm too hungry. If you could ask Gifford Abbott, he's the portrait at the bottom of the grand staircase to send some food along, then maybe I could help. Nothing much, just some chops and a leg of lamb, some chicken and beef, and maybe some cakes as well. Not too much. I'm so hungry. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Just a couple of light snacks, then. Like, seriously, you could feed us a small army of the amount of food that she's requesting there, you know. Like the portrait equivalent of Henry VIII, for God's sake. So this couldn't be any easier, believe me. And, well, well, apart from the stairs not being in the right place. God, really grinding my gears, that is. <laughs> yeah, um... It's seriously like, you know, they even show you where the portrait is, so it's really not, not that hard. Just get down to here and he'll sort some stuff out. Damara Donneridge would like you to send her some food. The girl will eat herself out of house and frame if she keeps on like this, but very well. Tell her I shall see what I can do. Thanks. Easy as that. Imagine eating yourself out of house and frame, out of the portrait. I wonder what it'd be like. 
if a portrait exploded. Just be colours going everywhere and frames going wild. I don't know. Be interesting sight to see. Just I've spoken to him. He said he will organise some food. Oh, you are a lifesaver. Here, you may use the passageway. Next time, just say chops and gravy. Okay, now I'm officially hungry. How dare you? <laughs> Seriously, bro, I don't think he's really a lifesaver. Just sort of helped you out a little bit. Hi, can I use your shortcut, please? Seek the man with faces three. He'll say what to bring to me. What does that mean? Okay, so this is um, Percival Pratt, who is one of the craziest, craziest portraits you'll meet, and it takes an age to get his port password, but it's worth it in the end, and it's quite an adventure in doing so, and it helps you discover other portraits as well, so why not? Here we go. The man with faces three is on the, um, not the one there, he's on the seventh floor corridor, and you have to ask him for the password, and basically you'll keep being battered around to various portraits until eventually you'll find one that gives you the password. Which is cool. It's quite straightforward though to be honest with you. Do you know Percival Pratt's password? Spouting riddles again, is he? I'm afraid I don't know. Try asking Professor Basil Fronsack. Oh, I love this music. This is story bit music, isn't it, from Harry Potter Lost for Stone. You know, every time I read Harry Potter now I hear this music, it just gets me into an adventurous mood. Yeah. Um I suppose if you, if you don't know who Basil Fronzak is, that isn't very helpful, really. You have to keep going around until you find them. And Basil Fronzak is um, the first portrait that we got the password off back in the last part. So back down to him on the um, roughly the second floor, I think, of the grand staircase. Or well, I should probably tell you as well where all these portraits go. Um, so the Transfiguration one, Gifford, he goes from the um, the grand staircase to the Transfiguration courtyard, um, and it's his and Basil Fronzak's that you'll use the most. So those are the two that I really stress you, sh you should get early on. Um, that's a bad way to go, bad way to go, bad way to go. Epic, epic, epic. <laughs> and um, Demard on the Ridge goes to the um, the clock tower. You won't use it as much. And the same actually for Percival Pratt. You won't use his portrait as much. But it's still good to get them now just because they're out of the way and when you do need to go down there. It's good to have. Do you know the password for Percival Pratt's portrait? Ever inquiring, Mr. Potter, that's good to see. Well, your voyage of discovery will need to take you to the shepherdess on the second floor landing. Which is really annoying actually now because his passageway goes directly to the second floor landing. But you can't because if you talk to him he just says, oh no, improve your memory, Mr. Potter. You require to go to the second floor landing it's like actually no I require you to open up yes obey me I'm Harry Potter and the boy who lives I have no time for prattling with portraits and all that uh, so you have to actually get some exercise and actually go the long way around how insulting eh after you've earned the, the right to use the passageway so yeah um, I've, done, I've done this enough times now but it's not to know it like, like the back of my hand although I still am a light on the map for quite a few things so down here, we'll eventually get to it. Oi! So calm down, man. Calm down. It's more than you've ever done, probably. I, I, I bet your grand achievement is getting a, an like A in, in a reference. Whereas I defeated the Dark Lord, killed a Basilisk, won a Trials Tournament. I've, I've done it all, mate, and I'm only 15. So shove it! Yeah, I went there. Okay, so let's keep following this around. We'll eventually get to the Shepherdess. She's a hard one if you don't know where to go. Um, again, second floor landing is a little bit ambiguous, um, but it's not as bad as Basil Fronzak, so we'll nearly get there. We're nearly there. But yes, the th thing is, Gifford, no, sorry, um, Percival Pratt's, um, he sort of reminds me of Shakespeare, the way he looks, but it, you won't use this one as much, but it's a really good portrait. It goes to the boathouse, and it takes an age to get down to the boathouse unless you use it, so I recommend that you get it now while you can. Um, so, oh, no, down there. See, look, the Basil Fonzak comes out here. Look how much time we would have saved doing that. It's just so infuriating, isn't it? But, you know, what can you do? Hello! <laughs> do you know Percival Pratt's password? Me? No, no, no. Now, that Google Sump fellow, you know, in that hall near the viaduct, he's a portrait with answers. Oh, is he now? Well, at least that's quite specific as to where he is. But before we go there, 
there is one more portrait around here that we can do quite quickly actually, so we might as well do him. This is the nervous man. Why do they have that? Are you guarding a shortcut? Not telling you. Not with him watching. Oh no. Not with him. Who? Him. Over there. Can't you see him? I don't want to have to look at him anymore. Maybe that's a little bit rude saying that, oh, I don't look at him. That's a bit iced. But it is the creepiest looking portrait I've ever seen. Who would want to design that? That's just, that's just weird, that is. And the award for the most immature portrait goes to... <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. He's one of them. I'm sure he is. Come through quickly. Next time, say, flaming earwigs. He's one of who? One of who? Quick, tell me, tell me, tell me. It's just like flaming earwigs. Is, is that who he's part of? I, I, I don't know. He sounds like some sort of death metal band that does flaming earwigs. Okay, so let's quickly viaduct entrance. Just put that on the map. Should be down here. Da, 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 through the um, the quick add again. Yeah, so, so that's a mad little portrait that is, and that goes, if I remember correctly, to the Hobology Corridor, f to somewhere else, I can't remember for life of me, but um, Let's get to the library. it's good to get that one done as well. It's really straightforward, really, really straightforward. I feel a bit sorry for the eye, but it is really creepy as well, so I say, at, the, at the same time, I don't. And part of me is just like, meh. Oh, quickly, here's that. Yeah, it is. Accio. Da, 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 da. Accio. And then one of those Hogwarts quests for us. Got plenty of things already. I see it's going well. And there's quite a few things we can get along here as well. I'll just get this quickly in a corner here. But um, I do. I, I'm conscious of time. So I wonder if we get any points actually for ruining it as well. Oh, I definitely meant to ruin it, yeah, actually. <laughs> That's another time. Okay, so down here by the by that entrance is Google Stump. Quite an interesting portrait, really. Quite a weird one as well. In the whole area, because it's basically like the Slytherin sort of area. It's not very nice, really. I'll just talk to him over here. Do you know the password for Percival Pratt's portrait? Well, I, I did. Which is to say, I, I have known the answer to that, but I don't know it now. Ah! Aha! You could try talking to the portrait of Gifford Abbott at the bottom of the staircase. He's, he's an excellent chap. You know, you could have just said, no I don't, ask Gifford Abbott. That would have been more useful. Huh? <laughs> Are this the students? Let's have a look. That was a quick look, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so now we're going back literally back to where we started. Gifford Abbott is the um half the proud Hufflepuff portrait. So we go to him, um, and you'll finally learn the password for all our hard work. If, if you know it's it takes a long time, but if you're really satisfied with what you've done it, you feel like, Yeah, I've earned this password. But you know. So it's it's it's, it's annoying though, though, because you can't like even if you know previously from another game save that it's um, give it up, but you can't go and just talk to him and get the pass. We have to go the long way round, as it were, the proper route. Go by each portrait. But now we're going to talk to him, and we'll get the password, and all will be jolly. Do you know Percival Pratt's password? Um, does that mean yes or no? You're on a quest, are you not? Well, I shall not fail you. This password is absurd. That's the password, not a description of it. Well, both actually. <laughs> oh, absurd. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, not that great po um, portrait bant, I'm afraid, mate. You stick to just looking after your dogs. <laughs> so there we go, we finally have Percival Pratt's password. That's a tongue twister for you, isn't it? Try to say that five times fast. Percival Pratt's password, Percival Pratt's password. Oh, it's, that's not too bad. Okay, so we finally get our reward. This password is absurd. Solved the riddle. Well done, you. It seems that now a reward is due. Pass, my friend, and enter through. I open now this way to you. Fantastic. And still Percival Pratt will rhyme. He likes to rhyme all the time. <gasps> it's catching. 
Okay, so now the last one we can get really is um, good Google stump at the right that entrance, and I can't remember where he goes to for the life of me, because it's, it's still not as good as the other ones. But it's good to get it now, just in case. Um, so back to the right that entrance we go. Let's go through here actually. Dragon's egg, pass, friend to Hufflepuff. Just so I can show you this this, um, this portrait P passageway. It seems useful to use them now as well. So this takes us out here. Um, I'll show you how to divide that entrance again. Let's go. We're going, we're going back on ourselves, I think, actually. Back this way. So this is probably about the same distance as it as it were going from the by that entrance, but there you go. <laughs> I presume you would like someone to reduce the pain you're in. Okay, man, in the no need for that 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 tone of voice of me, you know. I survived pretty well so far. I mean there's more imp there's more pressing matters at hand. It's more important to get portrait passageway passwords rather than get my hand fixed. And what the hell? Why is this so busy? Good lord. Okay, so here we go. So that with him. Hi. I have guarded this passage faithfully for years, you know. N not one person has passed this way. N not one person knows the password. Well, if no one knows the password, then no one can pass that way. Fail. You're not really doing your job. But if you want to tell me the password... Yes, well, I have to say that makes more bally sense than anything I've heard in a long time. Ah. But, but, but I, I can't tell you with this lot around. You'll have to get rid of everyone. Why are there so many mudbloods at Hogwarts? With having a go at mudbloods, I'll happily get rid of them. Um, oh dear, oh dear. Poor misguided souls. Basically, what we'll do is just put you on to these twats, and they um, and they eventually leave you alone. To get rid of all of them. Um, that's it. Off it. Go away. Go. No, they're not you either. You go. Make sure they'll leave. Everyone's gone. Please tell me the password before they come back. V very well. It is Volo Futurus Unus. Volo what? I want to be alone. Yeah, we can tell, mate. <laughs> there we go. So we've now got six passwords in our collection, and everything's jolly. I'm gonna celebrate by levitating up by doing this. Can anyone remember Maybe the not. Try something here instead. I'm gonna celebrate by levitating an umbrella. Just because that's the sort of happy go lucky track that I am. Okay, so that's enough exploring for now, I think, to be honest with you. In the next part, I'll continue with the story mode. There's one more portrait in the library that you can get a password from, but we'll sort of get that along with as the story mode goes along. And the other portrait passwords I'll get as the story progresses as well. But we've got a fair few there under our belt. So anyway, next part, library. Sorted. <laughs> See you then.